This week, I've been asked to summarize everything we do in the department in a video smaller than four minutes. So this is going to be the episode for Cosmic Kingdom today. Well, so astrophysics is basically the study of the entire universe and everything within it. It's what allows us to put together the story of how we came to be here, where the elements formed inside stars, how stars themselves formed, and how galaxies and the universe as a whole formed. It allows us to peer into the past, try and understand where we came from, and look into the future and what's going to happen to us next. So my own research is focused on dark matter, and this is a, an apparently invisible substance that we think fills the whole universe. We know about it only through its gravitational influence. It's the glue that binds galaxies and clusters of galaxies and the universe as a whole together. Dark matter remains an enduring mystery, uh, every bit as important and exciting as gravitational waves. And if we see dark matter, it will be yet another new window onto the universe, just like gravitational waves. I was explaining to my five years old this morning, and I said, imagine that you were dead. You were born deaf, and suddenly now you start hearing things, and yeah. you don't know what the sound of the siren is or what the sound of the ocean waves are. So it's all very exciting. So yeah. So we run massive computer simulations of the universe, uh, assuming something about the nature of dark matter, and then by comparing the results of those simulations to detailed observations, we can constrain or even rule out some of these dark matter models. Uh, followed up on an observational study that was done by a group in Italy that found that a particular globular cluster that you would actually be able to see with a telescope like this uh, in a very clear night. Um, they, they found that the distribution of the stars within the cluster are surprisingly similar. Yeah, well, maybe we could explain it with simply putting some black holes into the cluster. So we black holes exist, uh, kind of new already, but we didn't really know that black holes in the shape predicted by Einstein's GR actually existed. We know that black holes form binaries now, and we know what they actually meant. So in one detection we know three things. <laughs> So a black hole is the end result of the life of a very massive star. So these stars, they, they end their life with a giant explosion, we think. And recreating the entire 13 billion year evolution of the cluster in our computers. And then we saw it. With black holes, the cluster looked exactly the same as observed. Uh, it's a cluster with, with hidden black holes inside. And um, that's why it's not very dense. So the whole idea of the decision is that we can really play with the, the data sets and zoom in and watch things. So yeah, in this particular case we, we were able to, to compare this to real live images and, and see that the density of the cluster means actually something in terms of the physics. So at the University of Surrey, as well as doing uh, our research, we also really enjoy doing outreach events. Uh, so we have a telescope on site here that we use to do public observing meetings and we also use it for special events, like we recently had an event to cover the transit of Mercury across the sun uh, and also the Perseid meteor shower, that was really neat. Uh, we also have regular open days where prospective students uh, and future students at the university can come around and learn what we do at the astronomy group. Um, and in fact that, that pretty much encapsulates our prime research goal for the group as a whole is in multi-scale simulations from the very small star-forming sites all the way up to the universe as a whole. <laughs>